Hi, this is Amanda from Instagram, also known as Exalama Art. Today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial and I'll be drawing a bocarion from RuPaul's Drag Race season 9. Lately I've been on her Instagram and I was thinking, damn, she looks so good. So I wanted to draw her today. So what I usually do is I start off with the base color for everything. Okay, so you know, just, just ignore what I'm doing with the skin throughout this whole entire tutorial, by the way. <laughs> okay, so you fill it with the base color, not too light, not too dark. And you're gonna fill in all the strands first. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a low opacity hard brush and you're going to darken all of the places that you see a shadow. I'm looking at the photograph on the side as a reference and I'm pretty much darkening the same places as I see in the picture. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some color variants by adding a slightly warmer color to the area areas sorry that I'm going to add a highlight. But right now I'm not using such a bright color at first. And then you really want to darken, I guess, the outline of the hair chunk. I don't know what to call it, a hair chunk, I don't know. But you're going to darken the beginning and the end of that piece of hair that you're going to be coloring, okay? And then you're going to leave the center of that chunk of hair light. And then with your low opacity brush, you have to make sure that you're blending everything out the whole entire time. What you want to do now is you want to choose still a warm color. Um, you could use an eyedropper tool to select the brown color that you had originally and you're going to make it brighter. And you're going to use a smaller brush and you're going to highlight the center area of that hair chunk. And like darken the outsides as need be. So I'm, not, I'm only concentrating on one area right now but later I'm going to do the rest all in one go. <laughs> but the key to blending is to use the eyedropper tool and eyedrop the neighboring colors and then just blend, blend, blend with a low opacity brush. Now that that's okay, I'm going to work on the rest of the hair. And do the same thing darken the outsides of the hair chunk, keep the darker strands towards the end and the lighter strands towards the center. You want to do this all throughout the hair so you can get a better idea of where the shadows are going to be and where the light is going to be. However, I'm not really going for realism here. So I know this doesn't look like real hair, but this is the style that I'm comfortable with, comfortable with for right now. <laughs> but one day I'll be much better at realism, but for right now it's not going to happen. Now I'll do the same as before. Choose a warmer color, put it towards the center of the hair chunk to give it a subtle highlight for right now low opacity at all times. And you're going to blend it out, blend it out, blend it out using the same technique as before. Use the eyedropper tool, eye dropped neighboring colors, and blend it out. <laughs> using low opacity brush. You can't blend with the high opacity brush. And then choose a even brighter color, still keeping the colors pretty warm and make sure your brush size is a little bit smaller so you can get more detail. And you're going to continue highlighting those areas more concentrated into the center. Try not to go too far out or else you're going to lose the shiny effect. Remember shadows don't have any shine so keep the shine where the highlight or where the light is going to hit the hair. You could also add some loose strands you know, to make it look not so perfect. 
and a little a little bit more realistic. I think. Also, if you wanted the hair to look more blue, then you would use a cooler color, like some blue highlight or something. But for this effect, I wanted it to look more like a brown purple. So that's why I'm using warmer colors. And you could also darken the shadow some more to create more depth. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just darkening the shadows, darkening the shadows creating more contrast between the highlighted areas and the shadowed areas. And then if the highlight is not enough, you could go even brighter and brighter, brighter, and your brush size will get smaller and smaller and smaller, and you could just keep on going, you know? So the brighter the highlight you want, you want the smaller the brush. Eh, sorry, like my, I mumble, my English is like, fucked up lately, I don't know what's going on. But you're using a brighter color to create that intense highlight. So you don't want to go with an intense highlight right away or else you're not going to get that gradual effect. You want to start from subtle to shiny as fuck, you know? Add a few more strands. Sorry, I'm like fixing the face right now because I got distracted. I was like, what is this? But you could ignore that. <laughs> but I'm kind of unsatisfied with how light the color is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the curve level by going into like, I think, image, edit, curve, and you're going to kind of change the curve settings, you see, to make that highlight and that shadow pop even more. So that's a little cheat you could do. <laughs> Fix up the hairline if need be. Look around, see if there's any mistakes. But overall, not bad. And you're going to take a low opacity white brush and you're going to loosely put it over the highlighted areas. And then you're gonna set that layer to overlay to make those colors pop even more. And I'm also adding really random like dots of white to give it that sparkle effect, but that's completely optional. Like if you don't want sparkle glitter hair, then you wouldn't add it in. But I'm not going for realism. Suck it, I want sparkles everywhere. I don't know, but yeah, this last part's totally optional. So the techniques I talked about today are pretty much useful for dark hair, but um, how you go about blonde hair and brown hair are probably a little bit different. Sorry that I mumbled a lot throughout this entire tutorial, but... Sorry I mumbled a lot throughout this entire tutorial, but um, hopefully... Um, you could pick up some tips and tricks that you didn't know before, but if you already knew all of this before, then congratulations. Um, hopefully you enjoyed my tutorial, and if you have any requests for other tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Or tell me who you want me to draw. I want to draw more drag waist creams, okay? Or like what kind of videos do you want to see? Tell me, okay? Alright, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.